Time to go over a Zatch Bell, or however it's pronounced. I didn't try out the anime since it looked like a Yu-Gi-Oh with dolls, and I was too smart to waste my time on such nonsense. But now, for some reason, I was paid to do it, so I am motivated. It begins by establishing the protagonist as an antisocial, who doesn't have friends, gets bullied at school, and treats everyone else as inferior. I like this guy, he reminds me of someone. With that said, this information is told to us, we don't see it, so it comes off as lazy. I'm not gonna believe him just because he said it. I want to see him being an antisocial, who doesn't have friends, gets bullied at school, and treats everyone else as inferior. Doing stuff like making YouTube videos for showing off how smart he is by constantly shitting on the opinions of others, like someone else I know of. But we don't see him doing anything, we are just info dumped about all that, because the manga guy is incompetent and clearly beneath smart people like me. If this was your typical manga for horror neuroneries, you would most definitely get a manic pixie dream girl jumping in his life for taking him to a world of magic and adventure, and she would instantly get sexualized, so the protagonist, and by extension an audience of horror neuroneries, would simp for her as means to accept whatever absurd things she wants them to do. Luckily for us, this manga is not that modern. Instead of a sexualized naked lolly or some shit, it has a butt naked boy. We get the subversion of a manic pixie dream boy jumping in his life. So instead of horror neuroneries, the manga is inviting Fujoshis and Shotacons. By the way, am I the only one who had Dragon Ball flashbacks from this image? A naked boy with a big fish? The introduction of Goku? The protagonist is not a Shotacon, so he refuses to listen to the naked boy with a big fish, and goes to school where the local school bully is some sort of a psychologist. Besides bullying girls and stealing their lunch money, he also speaks like he has a degree in psychology and describes how the protagonist thinks. Talk about a wasted talent. Instead of becoming a doctor, he just bullies girls and steals their lunch money. Or it's another case of the mangaka being a bad writer, since instead of showing us the protagonist being an antisocial who treats everyone else as inferior, what does that remind me of? He has a school delinquent info dumping all that, even if it doesn't fit. The no longer a naked boy with a big fish psychoanalyzes him further because the manga doesn't rely on exposition too much already, and says it's not the protagonist's fault he's a genius, it's the other kids who are jealous of his intelligence. This is so relatable for some reason. And it's also a power fantasy for anyone who is lonely and has convinced himself everyone is jealous of his intelligence. By the way, he keeps calling the protagonist a friend, although they just met. Real friendships need years to form properly, but in Shonen they happen in a few minutes. All you have to do is give someone food or some shit. Anyways, the school bully, who is also a psychologist, is dealt with when the relatable protagonist reads a magic book that causes a building to blow up behind him. Something which took him like a minute to do while the bully was right in front of him and did nothing to stop him. It's like magical girl transformation sequences, you cannot interrupt them. The logical thing to do after that is to throw away the book and call the cops, because the former naked boy with a big fish is some sort of a super weapon he has no business keeping at home. But this is an anime, so we get the elfin lead logic of doing things. Just like that protagonist keeps the horny naked girl at home despite the constant deaths she is causing, this relatable protagonist keeps the horny naked boy at home, yes, he also has horns, despite the constant destruction he is causing. Because they are friends! An unknown boy jumped butt naked in his room and blew up a building, so that makes them friends. As for the building he blew up, nobody cares about it. The school bully said nothing, the news media didn't mention it, and it's generally treated like a building in Power Rangers. You know, they destroy a dozen of them in every monster attack, and everybody acts like nothing happened. And wait a second, the sound effect of throwing a book is BAN? Is there going to be a Kai after that? Here we go again with more drunkable flashbacks. Remember the episode Bulma gave Goku a bath? Why do I think of Goku whenever I see a naked boy? Maybe I'm the one who needs a psychoanalysis. Anyways, we find out the boy has fast regeneration, because it would be inconvenient to wait months for the wounds to heal after every mission. Your average shonen character would be an uncle after a dozen missions. We also find out the, again, naked boy but without a big fish, is here for helping the protagonist to make friends. Something which is as easy as a stranger jumping naked in your house and blowing up the building next to yours. 
After that, the Freudian reminder of a naked Goku convinces the protagonist to save the girl from a bank robbery. Not a different girl, the same girl that was being harassed by the school bully just one day ago. What are the odds of the same girl needing rescuing so quickly? And I need to point out that whenever the horny boy is not naked, he's dressed like a girl, look at him, he's wearing a skirt! I know it's supposed to be some sort of an old-style clothing for dolls, but it comes off as a naked cross-dressing boy who attracts a lot of weird people to the manga. And it looks really lame whenever he proclaims he will beat the bad guys while dressed like that. And there's another ban over there in the sound effect. As for how they deal with a bank robbery, the relatable protagonist simply spends a minute in trying to figure out how to use the spell, and once he does, the bad guys are instantly defeated. This time without blowing up any buildings or hurting any of the dozens of hostages that were close to the robbers. How convenient, the destructive force of the spell changed so the protagonist won't be responsible for something negative. Also, this thing wouldn't be possible if the moronic bad guys weren't standing still doing nothing. They had guns and constantly threatened to shoot anyone who does something strange, yet didn't fire once when a guy in a cross-dresser jumped inside the building, proclaimed they will beat them up, and then began reading a book. In effect, these robbers were even more incompetent than the school bully, since at least that one kicked around the main character a few times and also psychoanalyzed him. The robbers, on the other hand, didn't even lay a finger on him. By the way, the spells don't activate when you read them, but when you have strong emotions. They work when you have the feels and not when you are being reasonable and try to use tactics. It's the usual cop-out of any writer who doesn't want to use his brains for getting a character out of a dangerous situation. He just finds a lazy excuse for sudden power-ups that instantly defeat the bad guy and calls it a day. That's why this manga is super dumb with weird fetishes that make you need a shrink.